here we have our box, our transformation box with more subdivided. Why I use more subdivided here? Because here I use the ISO offset and the scatter. And then I use the paint because I paint, uh, if I don't have more subdivided, I don't have uh, the points where I paint because this is vertex paint. And so for that is, is uh, working only on the, the part where is the, the vertex. And then I can apply my Voronoi fracture. Here I have another very interesting tools because I create the sphere, I transform it, for move it in the corner of my, you can see here, of my wall, for example. And here I have the points from volume. The point of for from volume, if you want, you can use it. Also, you can create the, the jittering for creating more random points, but also with uh, the grid, it's very nice. Usually you can use that from the, um, the geometry or from the volume for create the random. And here we have the our point fracture and our point fracture is, uh, is here and this create a fracture in here. Why I use these techniques and what is the advantage for use, for example, the, the geometry like this? Because here, maybe you paint for example, this point and this point. In production, when you're working uh, uh, on some effects, maybe your supervisor or the client is say, oh, it's very cool effects, but I want, for example, it's not here, I want is here. So you, uh, you come back here and you draw in, you can correct or you, you erase some part and you can um, start to paint again. Sometimes it's possible because maybe you can um, only take this and sometimes it's not possible because uh, sometimes maybe you don't have a more subdivision or for example, you don't have a time to come back here and change the color with the paints. And here with the transform, it's very comfortable because here you can say, hey, my client asked me to change not this corner, but here in the middle or here in the, this corner. So I can take the transform tools and maybe I can disable my points because it's very huge operation sometimes that and maybe your and you can move it that here here my clients say I want the beginner's position here okay I change the position and now I have changed everything without problem and you see the result oh it's good it's very good like uh, I want Maybe your client can say that, maybe. However, and here it's good because you can, it's very procedural effects. You can move it, uh, that element and not paint your element every time. The paint maybe is good when you need to create the mask, for example, from uh, your object or you have the planar object for creating, for example, the path of your object is very nice. Also, the transform with the attribute transferred, you can use that, it's a, it's a nice uh, situation. And here you can find it's the same. Here you see it's working the same way and it's very good also for, for you. And here, the final, it's, uh, I say before, with the, um, the grid, with the little, very, 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 very little here thickness I created here. It's very small thickness. Also, I transform for create more small. And here with the paint, I paint very fast. And I can apply the scatter. So you can see it's the same also here. But the big advantage in this case, it's uh, created uh, by the color and also you paint and you have the, the thickness 
for your element and it's working very well respect that situation with the plane